since we chatted last time. Yeah. How has the world changed for you? That's interesting. Can 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 you remind me where we had we played season two when I talked to you? It was just about to begin. Just about to begin. Season two is wild. So um, uh, fan control sports and entertainment. We did fan control football season two point um, was was incredible. We shot in Atlanta. Um, we had a, a purpose built stadium for the for the for the event, uh, and it was it was it was incredible. We we um, are you know, quadrupled our distribution partners. So we were originally on Twitch and we had a really deep relationship with those guys. Um, but then we were on DAZN and Fubo and uh, NBCLX and Peacock. And so we had a lot of eyeballs uh, on the on the season. Um, uh, I don't know, 30 million people tuned in. It was, a, it was an incredible season. So by all accounts. And again, we just, we grew the audience and, and, and the fan base by you know, every conceivable metric. So, um, and after, you know, I, after that, then we've we've taken a, a look at you ask how the world changes. I think you know as we continue to evolve, the we've looked to add like our, our our goal has changed a little bit from having just one or two giant owned and operated leagues to to having you know these these always have there something always have there to be something to do as a fan. There should always be something fan controlled, right? Anytime you pick up the app, you should be able to participate in in something. And so we've we've spent this past year kind of obviously retooling football. We're coming back uh, spring of next year, um, and then we're doing the partnership events. We just did our first NASCAR race, which was wild. Fans controlling a NASCAR uh, looked um, epic. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was. I think it was an awesome experience. So what we did was because I was really a bit of a skeptic when we had the opportunity to, to, to do NASCAR. Cause I think that's like, what are you going to do? Like what, but it turns out as we really dug in a, the fan base is incredible. They're just like rabid and passionate about it. So it was a perfect, a perfect fan base to say, look, how do we get you closer to the race? How do you become the personal pit crew? And then you know, we, and we backed into what are the decisions that again, we talked a little bit about last night, but you know, our ethos is we always, put fans in a position to be successful. So the idea is you give them um, all good choices, but there are clearly better ones. And so how does that work during the course of a race and what are the needs? And so uh, the pit crew would be a talking to the driver and listening to the crew chief. So we we, we tapped into the, the, uh, the, the team audio. So fans in real time could hear all of the things that were happening in the car, what he needs. Our driver was talking directly to fans and saying things like, look, we need a pit in the next, you know, I, or the, he, he kept saying that the, the, the car feels a little stiff. Well, you know, here are the fans, I need you to make a choice. And then the crew chief listed four or five different things that we could do to the car to like loosen it up. So it felt a little bit better. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, it was, I think, I think we were very successful in having fan, that ex fan experience. They felt like they were making meaningful decisions and it's not, not every play like you do in football, but you know, there was, I don't know, over the course of an hour and a half, it was probably, you know, 20, 30 things that they could do, you know, choose high line and low line coming out of the cautions and all of these things that they're not, they're not obviously driving the car, but they are dictating strategy. And it was, it was a neat experience. Yeah. It seems like uh, you, you mentioned that you were a little skeptic uh, about NASCAR and after the discussion that we had yesterday, I feel like <laughs> exactly you are a true believer that, sure. you know, out of all the sports that you cover on the platform, yeah. it seems like uh, NASCAR is something that you believe in the most. It was such a surprise. Well, I just, I don't know about the most, but like it, I went from like, you know, uh, it's nothing I like, I, th this sounds denigrating. I don't mean it to be, but my previous space I was in was that it was like, yo, that's a bunch of dudes taking left turns for a living. That's not my idea of a sport. Right. Like, and I didn't like, to be fair, like a lot of things in life, just like the cold plunge this morning, I didn't give it a chance. I didn't, I've written it off. You know, I like, you know, I was like, I, I know things that are for me and that's just not for me and I'll stay with more traditional sports. But as you start digging in, I think it was exciting. I just think there's a like unparalleled level of passion there. Those fans are incredible. You commit it. it I mean, the super into it. Uh, I think the drivers are fun to work with that. They're just cut from the same cloth. They're like really interesting characters. Um, and, and there are meaningful touch points. And so, when we, st when what unlocked it for me was when we came up with what we said was how do you make, you know, like, how do we make fans feel like part of the pit crew? And then that works, right? That feels like, okay, I am controlling, I am contributing to that strategic layer of, you know, of the, the, the race. And so, yeah, I think, I don't know that I'm most passionate about it, but I'm so surprised because we talk about, you know, things that are on our radar. Obviously we're looking at fan control, obviously racing and hoops and football. Um, the, the one that, uh, 
I'm actually kind of came into it from a different vector. The thing that I'm most excited about now probably is baseball. Are you, if I asked you this, I don't know, are you a baseball fan? Do you like? No, no, you're a baseball fan. I love baseball when you get to go to a game, right? You have a hot dog, you have a beer, you're hanging out with your friend, and it has literally nothing to do with what's happening on the field. Like, going to Dodger <laughs> Stadium is awesome. I so, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's great, right? right? Uh, but it's just a good day out in Los Angeles. That's not because of the sport. And so, for me, that's that challenge. Be like, look, if I can fuck up baseball to the point that guys like you and I want to watch it, that we're in it, then... Then, then I think we're really on to something. So, uh, so I think it's been fun, man. Like every one of these sports has got all these different intricacies and you know idiosyncrasies and nuances and all these things. And so it's been fun digging in and learning more about them and understanding those fan bases. And it's been just it's a wild ride. Yeah, you got a huge opportunity yeah. in, in baseball to like right? make it make it exciting uh, and interesting to actually pay attention to what's happening. I mean, imagine if you were calling the pitches. Yeah. I mean, like, there, there's so much you can do. I won't, I won't talk about our, our baseball product here, but like, we've got a really good working model about how baseball can completely be completely just revamped, just modernized, reinvented for the digital age, is what I say. So, yeah, can't wait. So, you are the challenger for the established leagues that are out there, but sure. do you do you feel that you know, if you could make a bet, yeah, what will be the first sport? where the fan control approach will overtake the traditional one. Oh, that's really interesting. Just looking fast forward, you know, yeah. it will happen in some sports sooner or later. Yeah, you know, I think about it like, you know, it's interesting. I, like overtake is, is an interesting word. We, we've always felt like we're in parallel. Like I, our goal, and I firmly believe the future of sports is fan controlled. But our goal would be that, you know, as as kids growing up now, they'll ask about, they're just two different types of sports. There's traditional sports and FC sports, fan controlled sports. So like, oh, is that just football or is that fan controlled football? Like, like you have an option to be this lean forward, engaged participant in it, I'm leveling up versus that lean back, you know, experience, yeah. you know? But I feel like you are able to somehow compare where the sports are and it could be like, you know, by money that yeah. is being processed through the sport sure. or the amount of fans, the amount of uh, viewership that yeah. you get. And I believe that uh, at uh, some point, the fan control approach yeah. will just break the barrier and overtake one of the traditional sports. I, yeah, I think so too. I think, like, I think uh, it's, it's just such a compelling loop. Like when you're like, you're, you're and I think, too, I think like, you know, you, you play the tapes forward a little bit. I think there'll be a time when, you know, when there's free agency and the players go to different teams. I think there will be this, this like m the most subset of the most valuable fans and people will be recruiting fans to come be part of their team. I mean, we even saw it a little bit in season two, but this idea that like that guy's a super fan, he's like all, all at the top of the league, he needs to be our guy. And then the, the, the people are recruiting him to be him or to, to be part of what they're doing. So I think we saw them. And they, they switch teams? Uh, or, or during the course of uh, between seasons. Uh -huh. this, this like, hey, look, I, you know, I, I don't know that I want to be aligned with this team anymore. I'm letting you guys know in the Discord. And then there was this like amazing like recruiting. You know, uh, we, had a, we had one team change ownership and a bunch of people were like, look, I, you know, that's not I, – I signed up to be part of this ownership. There's, there's a new ownership. And, and so they kind of announced their free agency and that all of the teams were competing – to get these super fans, the guys who were at top of the the top of the leaderboard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was that, great. It was incredible. That's such an interesting dynamic, right? Yeah, I think, and I think that that to me seems like an inevitability on sports and fan control sports.